knowing him is the source of our fruitfulness. John chapter 15 and verse 5. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. A very great and a great important outcome of knowing God intimately is that we become fruitful in our lives. And Jesus, in his, in his description of the wine and the branches, trying to describe to us the relationship that we should have with him, gives us this understanding that if we abide in him and he abides in us, then we will bear much fruit. In other words, our fruitfulness comes out of that place of knowing him intimately and abiding in him, in, in that relationship. And this is so important for us, especially in people, uh, for us people who are self-driven, self-motivated. Uh, we are, you know, we, we've got the skills, we've got the abilities to do things ourselves. And uh, we very often think, you know, I can get the job done. Or uh, if we envision something, we just know exactly how to execute it, how to put things in place so that we get the job done. And unfortunately, this leads us into a place of self-dependence and self-reliance. And therefore, pursuing intimacy with God doesn't seem to be uh, a serious priority for us uh, because many of the things, we just get it done ourselves. But Jesus is presenting something contrary to our normal thinking. He says, you abide in me and let me abide in you. You come to that place of closeness, of intimacy, of dwelling in me, and then you will be fruitful. I think he makes this statement. He says, but well, without me, you can do nothing. Now we know hey, I can do a lot of things just on my own strength. So what is Jesus telling us? He's saying, look, things that we do outside of him really amounts to nothing. It's not the true kind of fruitfulness or it is not the lasting fruitfulness that God is looking for. So we need to reposition ourselves. We need to reposition ourselves into that place of intimacy with God and let everything that comes out of our lives be birthed out of that place. And that gives birth to genuine fruitfulness. Things that will make a difference for eternity, things that will really touch the hearts of people, things that will really make a difference in the lives of people. Those kinds of things are birthed out of that place of intimacy, of knowing Him intimately. So as we journey through life, as we journey through even this week, maybe this is a change or a shift that we need to make in our thinking and in our positioning, that truly without Him, we can do nothing. And therefore, we are driven to this place of seeking Him first, of we are driven to this place of wanting to know Him intimately, of abiding in Him and letting Him abide in us and letting fruitfulness be birthed out of that place of knowing God intimately. Remember, all true fruitfulness comes out of knowing God intimately. And therefore, let us pursue that as a priority. Let us pursue that with all our heart so that we can be truly fruitful for the kingdom of God. Let's pray together. Father, we just humble our hearts before you. We ask that you'll help us reposition ourselves, that you'll help us have a shift in our thinking to understand that out of knowing you intimately comes true fruitfulness. You are the source of fruitfulness in our lives. And therefore, help us to pursue knowing you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.